All this week, News 5 is focusing on your personal safety. Tonight, we spotlight a very popular item in self-protection, pepper spray. Are all created equal? As News 5's Emily DeVoe shows us, the answer is no. Pepper spray is the go-to tool for self-defense. I have one, your mom probably has one, but are you really sure it's not just a gimmick that self-defense experts try to sell you on to protect you? Let's put it to the test and find out. We went to several stores around town to get the most popular spray. This one's the Red Saber. It fits on your keychain. It's about $9.99 and it only has one little safety switch. This is more like a gentle waterfall. I'm only five feet away from the target and it's barely reaching it. Behold the Mace Compact Sprayer. They advertise that it's stylish. It looks like your lipstick so you can slip it in your purse. Let's try it out. Oh, it's out two times and it's no good. Not feeling too confident about the pepper spray right now. Even our photographer Brad yeah. seems overprepared. Let's step it up a notch. This is the Mace gun. It gets all the best reviews online. You can see it looks like a gun. I'm supposed to be able to shoot it from 25 feet away. All right, so that one works a little bit better than the other two that we've tried, but still not quite as far away as it advertises. But it did have the most potent effect on our news director. It just got a little bit on me, but uh, my face is kind of on fire. He wasn't too happy. Really? Yes? Uh, you're fired. He's oh. joking, but he did have to wash his face under the faucet for quite a while. Hey, at least we know it works. Now, here's one that's a little different. It's made by Ruger, a gun manufacturer. We found it a little bit complicated to use. You actually break it apart, an alarm goes off, and then you spray this. All right. Well, that one's better than the little dinky pink ones. I like the alarm, but the problem is it's way too complicated to get apart. This is a different device. It's a pepper blaster. It actually shoots two big blasts out of a cartridge, kind of like a gun. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Again. Wait one more time. This one is awesome. It's the only one that I felt had enough power to actually make an impact if you're more than, say, two feet away. Not to mention it's a gel, so you don't have to worry about the spray getting all over you. Retired Police Lieutenant John Graham gives us the reality of it. I'm not going to uh, advise people not to have pepper spray, coubatons, and, and these, these type of uh, appliance, self-defense appliances, because in, in certain situations, they are very valuable. Pretty much, in, unless you're trained, unless you're really aware of all the situations, you're not going to be able to get to it. So better than that, situational awareness is much more powerful than any pepper spray. Pair those two things together and you are forced to be reckoned with. If, of course, you buy the right tool. So after testing them all out, we definitely decided the pepper blaster was the most effective. As fast as it comes out, that'll startle just about anybody. Now, our second choice was the pepper gun. The only problem is it's too big to fit in your pockets. It's a little hard to carry, which brings me to this. You guys have been calling, you've been commenting on our Facebook page, you've been sending us emails about Hornet spray. Now, here's the thing. I don't doubt that if you spray this in anybody's face, it's going to hurt. But what I do doubt is that you'll be able to carry it and keep it in your purse. It's just too big. It's not practical. That's actually what we're talking about tomorrow, finding out how much time or how little time you have to get out your pepper spray if you're attacked. That's coming up at 5 o'clock and 10 o'clock on News 5. Outside the News 5 studios, Emily DeVoe, News 5. Now, 